Art good. Us. Yes. And who said chivalry is dead? I love it. That's good vibes right there. That well is, done. That you know what? You know I, he was raised right. Yeah. Because a lot didn't, of kids would not have done that. They don't like to share. To, to the Phillies critter, who uh, didn't someone come and give him a ball after the fact? I think I thought I saw that. I and hope if, so. Hopefully that happened because they both deserve a ball. Well, look, just judging by how that boy treated that girl on the broadcast, I hope you treat me with the same respect during the course of the Absolutely show. Absolutely not. No. <laughs> oh, come on. Everybody, you'll see what happens. This is Sports Nation, Arda, Charlie. We got you covered. So I mean, Ar look. I, He's like I calling him all the way out. Definitely. Now, I do appreciate that because I do love seeing strong opinion from athletes uh, and, and former Especially athletes in, in golf, sports. Yeah, exactly. Not, you don't see it as much. But, but, but he mentioned something there. Brooks Kepka, Bryson. I would love to see it. I want to see some smack talking. I don't care if you're on the same team. Let's see it. Absolutely. Speaking of stars, how about this? W Slam, the very first issue. Up with him. <laughs> yes. In week two, Arda. Well, lucky we have that sound <laughs> and Stefania Bell here, our injury expert, to tell us all about it. Um, in fact, we're going to start with someone else who has a little bit of injury concern, Stefania, and that is Odell Beckham, who's out again. Uh, we got a bunch of questions on Twitter for this segment. This is one from Brian. Brian wants... In that window of getting comfortable again, but we're a little puzzled. Then that worry meter goes up exponentially with every passing day. Okay, well, let's talk about your beloved 49ers. They just got a win this past week over the Lions. So Barely. Elijah Mitchell <laughs> breaking out after the Raheem Mostert injury. So the foreman, that's his name on Twitter, he asked... He picked up a lot. Kareem Hunt is like a 1A, 1B with Nick Chubb. Yeah. And he had he gets consistent volume of consistency to Kareem Hunt. All right, let's talk about the matchup tonight. We got Washington. We got the Giants. I'm not going to ask about Saquon Barkley. Okay, we've asked about Saquon Barkley enough. <laughs> he's let's got talk new shoes, I hear. Yeah, he's got new shoes. <laughs> he had a 24.3 fantasy uh, points. We want to know which of these stats he will be most likely to repeat uh, in this week. Seven catches. 100 yards or a touchdown. He got this volume, Evan. And has it? Well, he's shown that he has a cap. Yeah. I think it's first season he had eight, and that it's been downhill since in terms of scoring. Volume is probably most likely his friend, given the, the most likely, but I'm going to say he doesn't repeat wow. any of them. So despite oh, going off on week one, he's going to meet a defense that he just won't be able to put up numbers in. I, right? Yeah, I think that that's what's going to happen with Washington. I think this could be a really tough night for New York. Oh, I'm sorry. So for <laughs> right. all your fantasy football needs, uh, Stefania is on every single day on the Fantasy Once Focus Once again, podcast. sorry, New York fans. Right? I know. Yeah, I know. Well. I'm always apologizing. I, I, I feel like that's funny. like a weekly I thing. Know. Sorry, they're, they're for New York fans. I was just glad I didn't. <laughs> I didn't this week. Exactly. Uh, Sunday mornings on Fantasy Football now as well. And Saved by the Bell here on Sports Nation. Thanks you for joining us. Yeah, thank Always. you so much. Thank you, guys. Olympic gold medalist, two-time WA MVP, six-time WMBP All-Star, EuroLeague champion, and the 2020 WNBA Defensive Player of the Year. Oh, my goodness. What a resume. Finals I MVP, know. regular season MVP, absolutely deserving of your own day in the city of Chicago where you put the WNBA team on the map. Are you kidding me? Of course. That's a no-brainer. September 16th, Candace Parker, we tip our hats to you. Our lady, Arda, thank you we so did much it. for being here. You were nicer to me than I thought you were going to be, though. <laughs> Just that you, right you at the top. You knew what was coming to you after not. the show if you weren't respectful. Okay? It's true. We're all it's taking true. a cue from that kid at the top of the show. <laughs> Boys, be nice to the women in your lives. And watch Sports Nation tomorrow because cool guests, lots of good stuff going on. We won't be here, but... Man.